like big and all the items I got were tiny so there's a couple of them that are open but most of them are not and I will tell you right up front most of the things that I got are craft and or bullet journal related so this one is from Japan oh yeah I think this is my uh, calligraphy marker maybe oh I feel like I need a pair of scissors to do this properly Yes, so this is just a really, really nice, nice, like a calligraphy pen. Yeah, it's a calligraphy pen. It's actually really nice. Unscrews, and oh, oh, even better, it doesn't take the cartridges. Oh, you can actually just put ink in there. Nice. So this is pretty good. I haven't used, now obviously I haven't used any of these, so I can't tell you like the quality of when you actually use them because I'm opening them for the first time in front of you. But this is not bad. Uh, a dollar. I paid a dollar for it. And a dollar shipping and handling. Not bad. I'll take that all day long. All right. And now we're going to open this guy. Like I said, a lot of these I have not opened yet. So you just got to bear with me on the opening process. And I'm really think I would benefit from a pair of scissors. Oh yeah, oh I know what these are. These are my uh, Microns. Now, this is a Micron pen. And anybody who does bullet journaling knows what Microns are. But this is like a Japanese version of a Micron. Yeah, that's sexy. That little nib. Ooh, it's sexy. And this one is 0.35, which is a very thin line. This is 0.35, and then, oh yeah, so they're all 0.35. Three pens, and this Micron pen will cost you uh, 4 or $5 if you go to Michael's to just buy one. To buy three would be $14.99, easily. Now, I haven't ever used these, so again, I don't know the quality, but I am, I'm going to be okay with this. I mean, I got three of them for $1, and even if they're not the greatest... <clears throat> Sorry about that. Even if they're not the greatest, they were a dollar. I'll take them. All right, so now we're going to open up this one. And this one is from Japan. And it is... Aw. It's a coloring book, and I was honestly expecting it to be more than, like, five pages. But you get what you pay for. It was a dollar. So this one is Fantasy Dream hand-painted roaming wonderland coloring book and there's literally like maybe 20 pages and they're tiny but I wanted them small because I will more than likely take all of these and cut them up and put them in my bullet journal so I'm not I'm not too disappointed in this it's not exactly what I wanted but it's not terrible all right so now we're on to the next one and this is the one that's from Estonia now, I don't know what is coming from Estonia. Oh, my little highlighters that look like little characters. Aren't they cute? Come here, you. Come here. Let's see. Although, honestly, like, these are adorable. But, like, practically actually using them? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how practical this cute little teddy bear highlighter is going to be. Because <laughs> they're pretty small and fat. But... They're pretty darn cute. And as you can see, they come from Japan. They're pretty cute. Look, they all have different faces. Oh, that's adorable. So I like these. Those are cute. I got an apron. Because I do a lot of cooking. And I wanted a cute little apron. Now, I did open this up. And honestly, it's not terrible. Um, the material is kind of plasticky. But uh, all in all, pretty cute little apron. Let's see. King. See? And the best part is it's got little pockets so that my phone oh, my phone will fit right there, y'all. So I'm, I'm super stoked about that because I carry my phone around with me all the time, especially when I'm in the kitchen working, playing music or watching YouTube videos or whatever. So it's a little more like vinyl-y, like the material is more vinyl than I would like. But it's not too bad. I think if I wash it a couple times in the washing machine with some fabric softener, I think it'll be perfect. All right. 
So now this one is from China. I think this is my stencil. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. It's a lot of packaging. But they didn't want it to get messed up, so I'm, I ain't mad at them. It's my bullet journal stencil. And I have actually seen this. This Not this exact one, but this exact concept. I've seen it at Michael's. It is $14.99. I'm like, even with a 40% off coupon, that bitch is still going to be like $9 for a stencil. One stencil. $9? Not me. This one was a dollar. And I paid a dollar shipping and handling. And it's great. I love it because it's got all the different sizes. So like if I, one month I want to make all my calendars triangles or hexagons or whatever I can. Super stoked about that. And this one, that stencil will get some use. Let's put it that way. I will be using that stencil. All right, now we're on to the next one. Oh, my $1 pop socket. Now, here's the thing about this pop socket. It doesn't pop. It's supposed to like pop because I have one on my phone right now. And the whole idea is that you, you slide your fingers in to the part in between and then you hold it. But this one, for whatever reason, it doesn't actually pop. So this will stick to the back of my phone, but then it won't pop out or do anything that it's like supposed to do. So maybe it's not, maybe a pop socket isn't the right word for this. Maybe just like a pop dot. It's cute though. It's got, it's got angry kitty and I paid a dollar for it. So, I mean, I'm not upset about it, but the fact that it doesn't pop, like pop out like it's supposed to, and trust me, it does not. I have broken three nails trying to get this to pop out and it does not. So not a hundred percent about this one because it doesn't actually do what I wanted it to do, but it's pretty darn cute. And I ain't mad at it. It was a buck. So this one is from Shanghai. It smells like turmeric, like Indian food. Okay. This one is another calligraphy pen. It's actually really, really cute. It's got like a little design on it and then it comes with all of these cartridges. So $1. And it's actually really nice. I'm, I'm, I cannot wait to use this one. It's, uh, these are black and then these are blue. So there's three black and then three blue, which honestly, this is probably one of my better purchases for $1. I'm pretty happy about that. These Micron pens are pretty freaking awesome though. Although the question is like, how much can you actually get like writing wise? And if they only do a half page, they only have a half page of ink, then that's going to be a problem. Oh, I forgot I got myself some jewelry. So I like to cook. So I got these little measuring. Look, 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 look. They're little. Oh my God, these are so adorable. And they were a dollar. And oh my God, I love it. They're so tiny. My camera won't even, can't even focus on them. So it's a little knife and a little fork and a little spoon. Oh, I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. Oh, pro tip. Um, this is cheap ass jewelry. Okay. I paid a dollar for it. So I ain't expecting that it's going to be sterling or stainless or any of that. This is the cheapest material that you can make jewelry out of. But so here's what you do before you put this inside of your ear or before you wear it, you just coat it really well with some clear nail polish. And then about like I wear, I will probably wear these every day. And so every week or so I'll have to take them out and reapply the clear nail polish, but that just stops it from varnishing. It stops it it stops it from tarnishing and it stops it from turning your ears green and getting infections. So they turned out really, really cute though for $1 and I cannot wait to sport these little, little silverware earrings. Oh, I forgot. All, I forgot all about those little guys. I like them. They're so cute. I'm going to be wearing those. And those came from Japan. All right. So now we're on to our next one, which is also from Japan. And I've, I have no idea what they, what it even says. Like on the calligraphy pen, the instructions are in Japanese. So I'm going to have to figure it out, but I don't know. All right. Oh, oh it's a stencil. Oh, I think it's a set of stencils. Is it just the one stencil or is it a set of stencils? It might just be the one stencil. No, 
wait, I can't tell. No, yeah, no, it's just the one stencil, but that's okay. It's a pretty nice little stencil. It does like a wave effect, again, for bullet journaling. And this is not exactly what it was supposed to look like. I'll show you the picture. I'm going to, every one, I'm going to stop and show you what it's supposed to look like. Or maybe I'll do them all at the end. I don't know, but this one, mm, better than nothing, but not exactly what I was expecting. And yeah, that's it, just the one. All right, and now we're going to go on to this one, which is also from Japan. Now, all of these ones that are from Japan like this, that don't have anything on them, that's because they came in a big bag. Like, 12 of them all came in one bag together. And actually, it was weird because it came from the town next to mine, Monroe. Oh, it's another coloring book. This one is called Wonderful Forest. And let us see. <gasps> Ooh. Um, well, that's the same picture twice. I mean, I like beers and all, but I don't know if I want to do two. These are some pretty intricate designs. I don't know if I even have, and even with my fine liners, I don't know if I'll be able to really do much with these, but they're pretty, and even if I keep them black and white, that's fine. They'll be nice. They'll work in my bullet. All right, we're well, almost done, guys. I guess this video's going a little long. I try really hard not to do my videos longer than 15 minutes, because the average attention span of a YouTube video person is 15 minutes. I know, because I watch a lot of YouTube videos, and... If I'm picking one and it's over 15 minutes, I don't pick it. So, I'm trying to keep it under 15. Alright, looks like... Oh, these are the post-it notes. Oh, look at these little post-it notes, y'all! Oh, look how cute they are! Oh my lord, have mercy with the little unicorns everywhere! Oh, these are so cute. It's a sticky notebook. Sticky note. Sticky note. These are cute. Oh, and these are individual. Like, there's five of these. Like, that's one. And that's one. And then these are solid. This is not bad for a dollar. I mean, honestly, if I did a theme of unicorns in my bullet journal, I could use this. And, uh, I'd be pretty set. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Not bad for a dollar. Post-it notes. Those are a winner. Oh, this is my date stamp. And it is from Bayon Kong. I, oh, this is the one from Myanmar. I have no idea where Myanmar is, or Myanmar, or whatever. I have no idea where that is, but it's pretty far away, obviously. And it's a date stamp. That's all it is. It's just, it just does the dates. It's pretty nice, though. I've always wanted one of these. My daughter has one, and I keep trying to steal it from her, but I have to, like, not steal it from her. And it goes all the way to 2028, so I'll get some use out of it. That's for sure. And this one is also from Japan. Because those are some Japanese kanjis. I can tell the difference between Japanese and Chinese. It's not difficult. I just know. Oh, okay. So this is not at all what I was expecting. This is like the first thing where I'm just like, what? When it comes to the wish. So these are washi. They're supposed to be washi tapes. Now, time out. Because, um... I know about washi, okay? Like, I have an insane amount of washi. This is my drawer o washi. So, I have experience with washi tapes. And uh, these little guys, granted, they look like they could actually be washi, but they are so tiny. I'm just kind of like, what the what? This is like the first thing though, that I've gotten, and I'm just kind of like, okay, that's not at all what I was expecting it to be. Oh, and you know what else? They're that plastic. They're that shiny. I hate that. Okay, so I like a matte. I like a matte washi. I don't like a shiny, sticky washi. Ooh, and that's some, that is some deranged looking clown. Oh my good lord. I don't even know if you can see. Can you see that? Sorry about that. My hubby called, and anytime somebody calls me, my camera shuts off to answer the call. I could put the phone in airplane mode, but then my husband's all like, why didn't you answer? Is everything okay? Oh my god, is the house on fire? Blah, 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 blah. So where was I? Back to the crappy washi. So these are just not even, I'm, I'm not probably even going to be able to use these. They're just kind of really out there. Even, okay, so this one's all flowery. It's not terrible, but I don't like it. This one's like a crystals and 
watercolors. It's not terrible, but again, I don't like it. This one is really creepy. It's got like a weird clown characters on it. I don't like that. I'm not not a big fan of clowns. And I uh, don't like that one at all. This one's just like hearts and teddy bears and just weird random. Like, is that an elephant? I don't fucking know. I'll tell you what though. I don't like these. So these will be given to my littles to do with whatever they want to, to play with them. Because sometimes my little Kylie especially is like, I want to do a bullet journal. And I'm like, okay, but I'm not giving you my expensive materials to lose. So I like to buy cheap stuff to give to them so then they can do a bullet journal. And this is probably going to end up with Kylie Ann because I'm not a fan of that. That's the only thing though. Like I've gone through like probably 15 items, 20 items. And so far they've all been exactly what I wanted except for the pop socket. They've all been exactly what I wanted and exactly what I asked for. So I've been pretty happy about that. Oh, 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 more jewelry. I forgot I got a little bit of jewelry. I thought I only got bullet journal stuff. I think, if I remember correctly, this is some form of best friend necklace. Um, it is, okay, it is best friends, but, so my best friend, her name is Liz. If you watch my channel, you've heard me talk about Liz before, because she's my best friend. And uh, this is actually, it's a best friend necklace, but... It's Jack Skellington and Sally from the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas. And one friend, it is not gonna, it is not gonna let you see. Okay, there you go. So this one's Jack and then this one's Sally. And so it's from The Nightmare, it's best friend necklaces from The Nightmare Before Christmas, which is her favorite movie. She loves that movie. I, oh, uh, I don't mind Tim Burton, but I don't really like animated Tim Burton. Let's put it that way. And that movie, I I just, I've tried to watch it because it is my best friend of like 10 years favorite movie. And I've tried a number of times to watch it. And I'm just like, I don't get it. So there's like a tree with Halloween and a tree with Valentine's Day. Like what? In what, like what world are they living in? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But it's her favorite and she is going to love this. So yay. And, um, I think the only other one I got was for my husband. I got my husband a keychain. Because, you know, I'm thoughtful. I don't just get shit for myself. That's not who I am. I get stuff for everybody. And I got this one. And it says, drive safe, handsome. I love you. Drive safe, handsome. I love you. And it's just a little keychain. So I think he'll appreciate that. So, so far the jewelry has been a slam dunk. And then there's only one other item. And I think it's washi stickers. Yes. It's stickers for my bullet. They're just cute little anime. These are actually, these would not be considered um, bullet journal stickers. These would actually probably be considered Habanachi stickers. Because it's similar to bullet journaling. But... It's different in that they mostly use Japanese kanji, so it's a lot easier to fit an entire journal in the, something this space, this size, because in Japan, in their alphabet, they have symbols that mean phrases. So out to eat is one symbol. Um, doing laundry, one symbol. Whereas in our language, doing laundry is 13 letters and takes up this much space in your bullet journal. So, but it's really cute and... Uh, I really like the little kitties. They're very, very cute. You see a lot of this kind of stuff in the Habanachi. If you're interested, go look up Habanachi on, on Pinterest and you'll see what I'm talking about. But these actually turned out really, really cute. I really, really like them. Um, let's see if I can get into it to show you what the rest of the stickers look like. Again, scissors would have probably been super helpful to me in this process. But, yeah, I'll live. So here's the first page, and then here's the second page, and then here's the third page, and the fourth page, and then the fifth page is just like borders, and then the sixth page is just different random like things. Oh, okay, so this is like a credit card, so like if you gotta pay a bill, and then there's like a 
a doctor's thing, and then there's like a, a laundry thing, a pharmacy thing. So these are actually really cute, and I'll use these. And here's what I really love about this. There's six pages here, six pages here, and it's, and they are slam-packed full of stickers versus you go to Michael's and you buy one sheet of 12 stickers and it's $4. Even with a 40% off coupon, $4 is still $2.80. And I just got six pages for $1. That's the whole thing. That was my thing. I wanted to go, because I like the idea of Wish. I like the idea, because I'm super cheap and super lazy. So if I can get super cheap shit brought to my house, yes, going to sign up for that. But I've also seen a lot of people that say, you know, be really, be really uh, mindful if you get stuff off a of wish, be really careful. And one of the things that I did was I didn't buy anything that was more, I think the apron was $2 and that was it. Like every single item I bought was $1 and I read the reviews for every single one. If there was four stars and everybody was like, this is exactly what I wanted and it's perfect and I love it, then I ordered it. If there was one star and it said this thing broke within an hour of me buying it, didn't buy it. So I was, I took the time. It took me about three hours. Well, because it took me about three hours to decide like what I wanted because, oh my God, there's a million things that are only a dollar. So I was like, I'm going to get a couple jewelry. I'm going to get one clothing thing. And I'm going to get a bunch of bullet journal stuff because that's what I do the most is I do bullet journaling. Lately, I've been doing some uh, paint by numbers. So uh, there's that, but that's not something I want to buy off Wish. Maybe paintbrushes. I might buy some paintbrushes off of Wish, but I am buying a paint by number kit off of Wish. So as all in all, I am super happy with all of my Wish purchases, even the washies, which by the way, they are technically washi. But they are not washy because, in my mind, this is the size of a washi. Like, that's the size of a washi. This is not a washi. But, technically, I guess it is a washi, so they can get away with saying that. And it might have said somewhere in the description that it was only, like, two centimeters, and I just missed that. But still, my kid will love these, so that's all that matters. And I'll give them to her, and she'll love them. So, there you go. And uh, at this time, I'm either going to interject all of the pictures or I'll do them like as we go because I did screenshot everything that I got and the item description and everything. And so far, like other than the washi and the pop socket that doesn't actually like pop, I got exactly what I wanted. So I will probably be doing some more wish hauls in the future. And if you like this video, please let me know. Like, comment and be like, yeah, girl, do that some more. So then I can go to my husband and be like, hey, bitch, let me get another $50 so I can spend some money on Wish and make another video for y'all. So just let me know if you want it. I'll do it because I actually quite enjoyed it. And it was the hardest thing for me was when I got these envelopes, not opening them. Now, and that's part of the thing in the video is like you don't open them. You you open them for you guys. So part of the hard part was not opening it all, but then having it all to open at one time was extremely fun for me as opposed to like every day, like open, oh, okay, it's the pen. Oh, okay, it's this. Oh, it's okay, it's this. I really enjoyed not opening them and kind of like keeping them all until I got all of them. And as far as I know, I got all of them. I mean, in a day or two, I might get another package and have to do an addendum to this video, but for all that I got, for what I spent, I'm really, really, really super happy. So I hope you liked my video, and I hope you're having a great new year, and I will talk to y'all later. Mwah!